What is up, YouTube? We are back with another reaction video. This time, we're gonna be reacting to scary TikTok. It's a, it's like a challenge to try not to get scared. We're gonna be seeing how we can do. But first, I want to give you guys recognition for being the greatest fan base in the world. And this week, I'm picking Licky T with this comment. Licky T said yesterday, "That's a unique channel name, easy to remember." Shout out to you, bro, and thank you for being here. Go ahead and drop a comment down below, and your comment could be picked for next video. But now that we got all of that out of the way, let's jump into the video this is why you should always change your lock in 2017 a college girl woke up from a nightmare drenched in sweat and decided to rinse off before going back to sleep she propped her phone on a shelf turned on some music and then hopped in the shower a few minutes later she reaches for her phone to change the song but stops suddenly reflected on her phone's screen was a person standing in the middle of her bathroom facing the shower she somehow kept her composure turned the water to scalding hot and then ripped open the curtain and sprayed the intruder in the face as they howled in pain she ran past them to her kitchen to get her butcher's knife. In a panic, she can't find her knife, so she just runs out of the apartment and calls the police. The police go in and come out with a crazy looking woman in handcuffs. One of the officers comes over to the girl and says, she used to live here and she had copies of your keys. Then he pauses and looks down and brings up a clear evidence bag that contained her butcher's knife. And he says, looks like she wanted her apartment back. That is so crazy. There's something terrifying going on at Chuck E. Cheese right now, and I'm gonna explain it to you. So we all know about the game Five Nights at Freddy's, right? It's a game based around a restaurant that's pretty much like a Chuck E. Cheese where the animatronics come to life and wreak havoc on all the guests there. But what if I told you this was possibly happening in real life right now? Just two days ago, five children have gone missing inside of a Chuck E. Cheese and the parents reported a weird smell from the inside of the building. How do five children just go missing inside of a Chuck E. Cheese? And then just like Five Nights at Freddy's, someone that worked the late night shift actually got killed after hours. Yo, what is going on at Chuck E. Cheese? These are pretty weird, but here's the kicker right here. Check out this headline. Night shift workers from Chuck E. Cheese claim strange movement from animatronics post hours. So I don't know. What do you think about this? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? And I mean, with 2020 and everything going on, like I wouldn't be shocked if it was real. I don't think kids just disappear. I mean, something's going on. I don't know if it's animatronics coming alive and eating children, but kids just don't disappear. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part one. When creating the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland, they couldn't create skeletons that looked realistic enough, so they used real human skeletons. Since then, they've removed all but one. He said they removed all but one, so there's still a human skeleton there? Ducks sometimes become cannibals due to boredom, meaning they kill and eat each other. This behavior begins as early as four weeks old. Crocodiles are capable of galloping, similar to a horse. Luckily, alligators cannot. And while we're at it, tarantulas can swim. <laughs> It's extremely common after you die that there will be extreme gas buildup and you will burp after death. And sometimes dead bodies can even sit up on their own. Also, if a pregnant woman dies, the gas buildup in her body can actually forcefully push a baby out. In other words, a post-mortem baby bazooka. Come on, dog. You did not have to say that. You did not have to say that. This is why you should never stay in sketchy motels. In 2005, a young woman on a solo road trip across the country decided to stop for the night. The first place she sees is the mountaintop motel it looked pretty cheap but she was tired so she said good enough the check-in guy eyed her up and down very uncomfortably and then asked her if she was traveling alone she ignores the question pays for her room and then walks away with the key when she gets inside her room and sees there are literally cockroaches in her bed she says nope and decides to sleep in her car in the parking lot around 3 a.m she wakes up to see the check-in guy using his own keys to get into the motel room she was supposed to be in a few minutes later he storms out and slams the door and starts walking towards her car. Terrified, she hides under her blanket as the man tries to open her car doors but can't and walks away. She speeds off and calls her friend and asks her to look up the address of Mountaintop Motel so she can give it to police. Her friend's quiet for a second and then just says, the Mountaintop Motel closed a week ago. If someone offers you this, walk away. So the motel was shut down. That dude was about to kidnap her or maybe worse. That's crazy. In 2016, a man was staying at his friend's cabin in the woods when he decided to go for an evening stroll. A little ways down the trail, he hears someone call out from behind his neighbor's house. He looks up and he sees this skinny guy 
pop out from behind the building, who starts waving frantically at him to come over. Slenderman! Worried this guy could be in trouble, the man takes off running to assist. But when he gets close enough, the neighbor just offers him a fistful of Slim Jims and starts talking about how much he hates his wife. Sensing there was something wrong with this guy, he says no thank you to the Slim Jims and walks away. The next day, the man calls his friend who owned the cabin to ask him what the deal was with his weirdo neighbor. There was silence on the phone, and then his friend just says, I don't have any neighbor. The police are called, and it turns out his neighbor was really some lunatic who had recently killed his wife and had been hiding out in the abandoned cabin next door. That's crazy. So, I guess my question for you guys is, do you guys find stuff like, what's his name? Um, I just said it. Slenderman? Scary? Or, what are those things called? Uh, skinwalkers? Do you guys find skinwalkers scary? Do you believe in them? Do you think all of that is real? Because personally, it doesn't really do it for me. But maybe I just don't know enough about it. I don't know, man. It just doesn't do it for me. This is why you always say yes to tandoori chicken. In 2012, a high school tutor and her student stayed up so late one night studying that by the time they were done, the buses had stopped running. Without another way home, the student asked if he could stay the night at her place. Reluctantly, she agreed. My man's was trying to get some cheeks. When they got back to the apartment, she fell asleep on her bed and he fell asleep on a blanket next to her bed on the ground. A few hours later, she wakes up to the boy standing awkwardly in the middle of the room with a very strange look on his face. She asks him, what's wrong? He looks at her and says, I'm really hungry. Let's go get some tandoori chicken. Confused, she says, it's 2 a.m. Just get a snack in the cupboard. And he grabs her by the arm and he says, no, we are getting tandoori chicken right now. And he yanks her from the bed. Tommy's tripping. Feeling totally caught off guard by this whole situation, she goes into the hall with the boy. And as soon as the door shuts behind them, she can tell that he is terrified. He looks at her and just says, I'm not actually hungry. When I woke up, there was someone under your bed. I don't know if these are real stories or like what? If this really happened to people, that's terrifying. I don't think he's just making this up. Is this just a Mr. Balling? Like Let this be a reminder that there really are monsters out there. In 2007, a woman living right near a prison in California got home late one night and went right to bed. Around midnight, she woke up to footsteps on her first floor, assumed it was her roommate, so she goes downstairs to say hi. She yells out to her roommate who doesn't say anything and then in walks this giant man who she doesn't recognize. She runs upstairs, jumps in her closet into the crawl space and hides. As she's helplessly tucked away in this little crawl space trying not to make any sound, all she hears is this giant man sprinting around her house, running into walls, flipping furniture and screaming in frustration because he can't find her. Finally, after several hours, she slowly opens the crawl space back up, crawls out and gets her phone off the nightstand and calls police. As she's telling the police her story, she describes the person who had broken in and they stop her and say, ma'am, go back in the crawl space and stay there. We'll be there as soon as we can. Turned out a six foot 11 convicted murderer had escaped the prison and was still on the loose. There's no way that's real. That man looks terrifying. Supposedly, this is what the fallen angel Lucifer looks like. And this is what the moon looked like on March 31st, 2020. Okay, so I need some context. First of all, how do we know that this is what Lucifer looked like? Secondly, it looks like an eye, but literally anybody could do this pose and it would probably look like that. Okay. I don't know about any of you guys, but this is scary, especially with everything going on in the world right now pretty cool yeah that's gonna be it for me but thank you guys for watching the video i appreciate every single one of you i love you guys so much see you next week Mwah.